my distinguished ladies and gentlemen in this grand community i come your way again today being the 14th day of december 2022 because of what is happening right now i came up i decided not to come because i normally come when i'm led by god but because of the matter of urgency makes me to come to address you all please my friends in grand community know the truth and that is only the truth if anyone stands to say it's not the truth let that person come and prove me wrong there is a there is an information going on now that Theo sent his people they are preventing apostle K wakama not to be called so that he will come and vet the names of the ngos that will be disbursed to and by there making a brokers that will prove the amount given to each ngo and how they will disburse the money after the broadcast the ngo will now assess the money that is where we are now now please to you know into your philos a lot of boy knowing fully well that if that broadcast is being carried out by apostle ken he is in trouble everybody will now know that he's not the one that is boss he now sent his people to prevent that thing happening right there in Asrock, because there is where the app is not in the bank ladies and gentlemen not in the bank this is a matter of app is there right there in the villa there is everywhere they are doing everything he now sent people to prevent apostle ken wakama not to because so that he will do the needful and do the broadcast and somebody now called you you will say he don't even know he don't even know what you age is all about let me tell you people ladies and gentlemen you know fully well that he has not traveled to any abroad to bring down to nigeria any grant that the grant he was trying to disburse was the grant of mamarita because Mamarita is dead. Remember, I said everybody get ready. You must say how he got that documents. And after he got the documents, why didn't he hand the documents over to the rightful person? He now used the document, tried to claim, to claim the money. But thank God Almighty that brought him to book. The original documents was found. He now know that that document is not your bad global foundation. That it was you, it's UAG instead of him to leave his hand out so that this thing will be done by apostle ken wakama whose signature is there to your refuse and somebody calling he say he don't even know what uag may god judge him if he say he don't know that that document is uag documents why must all of us here be deceived by you somebody called him I, i've even called that person and i told that person to tell you that i said he is lying if he's not lying let him come out call take me to court let us just follow it let me see let that document be brought out let they bring the document let us see if it is too bad global foundation in that document why will all of let me tell you everybody should be ready everybody in abuja get ready we are going to the un office nigeria must see us why must they be suffering us like this because of one man because of one man a rogue i stand to call two floors on the boy a rogue he's a rogue and there is let me tell you two floors is no longer a servant of god if he can stand doing all these things to the masses he's no longer let him come anywhere let him not send that person to me or send people to come and uh, kill me let him make it very open that he want to arrest me and let him arrest me and take me to court let we, let us start to uh, from from the court let's start it in the court to know fully well fully well if what i'm saying is right or wrong eh? if it's wrong let me be jailed and if it's true let you be jailed but he shouldn't do it in a way of assassin if he try it, he must surely die before that time i am saying it by the name of the almighty god whom i i serve i stand in the name of jesus christ to decree if he plans to kill anybody if he plans any evil against anybody unjustly god must surely stand he will die before the, before that time the masses are suffering he is there protecting his own personal interests let him come out and apologize. We will forgive him.
And let this disorder be taking place. And people are there believing him, talking jargons about him protecting him. Let your government and let John, let that documents. If the government will accept, let them bring those documents openly to us. Let them snap it, send to us. Let it be verified. Let us know whose name is there. If it's his true name. And we are saying it, people think we are lying. Eh? And people that I do not even call, we come out, start talking. You know that I call, cannot come out to talk. People are talking. And you people are deceived. Let me tell you, all of you that is joining hand with this evil, God will judge all of you. In the name of Jesus, you will be judged forever. You will be judged. My distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my friends, this is the true position now. It is true. It is true. You know, don't want Apostle Ken to come and uh, view those things so that this disbursement will take place immediately and he will make the broadcast. He is refusing Apostle Ken to make that broadcast because if that broadcast is being made in the name of Apostle Ken, no more case closed. He knows that the Nigerian masses will come after him. But I am not saying that we will come after him. Everybody that commits evil, that evil will live before him and after him. We can forgive him, but he should be careful and let the man stop suffering the masses in this in this form after collecting all our monies eh? through the NGOs and all the NGOs that has refused to stand on the truth. Wait, wait, time is coming that the masses will rise against all of you. Then you will understand. Thank you, my great fans and friends. God bless you. But let me tell you, whether good, whether bad, as long as God leave it, as long as God leave it, God must surely shame everybody that is against this disbursement from Apostle K. Wakama. The government is disbursing. The government is aware they are doing it. Thank God for them. But the person that will do the broadcast is Apostle K. Wakama. Not Tio. Tio will not sign the documents. His name is not there. The person that his name is there is Apostle K. Wakama. That is the truth. Let you come and tell me that it's not the truth. Let him come out openly and let that document be brought. Let's see who is saying the truth. Eh? This is the truth of the matter. Everybody should be praying against you. That is the duty we have against you now. Because those people there, you cried to them. They are trying to help their person. That is just the truth of the matter. They know it's the truth. That Tio is lying. They know. But they are trying to help him. So everybody should rise up against you. Pray not to God Almighty to see the type of suffering Tio is meting on, on the promises. Thank you and God bless you. I remain Reverend Guayachuku. And let me tell you, I live in Imo State. Right now, I am in Imo State. And I stand to tell the people the truth. Don't think of uh, 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 how many meals just take me to court and let's bring i don't don't even say i as a nothing of character no we are talking about grants and the documents if you know that his name is there in that documents in the original document original one if it's his name let him bring it to the court let it let us see thank you my friends and god bless you we must live to eat this grant whether the enemy like it or not and god will bless as many that is fighting for us in the government to make sure that this money is dismissed to us god will bless them bless their family bless their unborn generation in the name of jesus christ amen